Assalamu alaikum. Do you remember me? I was there that day. Subhanallah, I've run this conversation over in my mind so many times and now I'm here in front of you and the words are meaningless and hollow. I did something bad. I did something bad to you. I can't imagine the pain I put you through and if it's of any consolation, there's been a pain in my heart since it happened. Assalamu alaikum bro Wa alaikum salam bro You been waiting long? Nah bro it's okay Just got here You nervous? No man I'm not nervous Just cold There's nothing to be nervous about bro Okay? How's your family? Yeah alhamdulillah They're okay Yours? Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah You want something to eat? No Tell the truth, I haven't been able to eat properly lately. Alright bro. Come then, let's get going. Listen, about tonight I thought we could just leave it, yeah? Just us to talk or something. Yeah, we can talk later. Come, or we'll be late. Look bruv. There's nothing to hesitate about. It's not like you're asking a girl out and she's going to reject you or something. Man, I've done some serious things. Some serious things, man. You understand? Yeah, so be serious now. Be serious or the consequences are serious. For both of us. You can't run away from this. It isn't like before. What you done in the past? This is the reason why we're here. But it's not enough to become a pious man. You need to step out into the society that you wrecked. This is one of the consequences. I'm not afraid of this consequence, man. It's not that. Then what is it? What if I don't get what I'm looking for? What makes you think you won't find what you need? Whatever you've done, there is a way out. You have to accept what you've done, not cower behind it. And once you accept that and turn away from it and make your return, that is when you'll be free. Because Allah's mercy overshadows his anger. La ilaha illallah. How do you know that? How do you know when you're free? Don't trust me. Trust Allah. That is how you know. There was a man who killed 99 people and he sought forgiveness. Did you know that? He went to a worshipper and asked him, Would a man like me get forgiven? The worshipper said, No. 
So in his anger and rage, he killed a worshipper. That took the death toll up to 100. But being human, he felt remorse. So he went to a scholar, asked the scholar the same question. The scholar said, yeah, you would get forgiven. Go to a land that is full of pious people, people that worship Allah. So he decided to do that. On his journey, death overcame him. And do you know what happened? Do you know what happened to his soul? The angel of mercy and the angel of torment fought over his soul. They decided that they will measure the distance from the old land and the new one. They found that he was closer to the new one. So the angel of mercy took him. You got another chance in life. How many people get those? Not many. And it's not by chance. You could have died that day. I could have died that day. In life, we make the gravest of errors, but the key is to recognize the wrong in them and turn back to him and never stray again. But moreover, Allah has given his slaves rights as well. So if you wrong them, you must seek their forgiveness. Allah has made people to live in society. Listen bro, after we speak to this poor guy and apologize and ask for forgiveness, it's gonna give me a lot of strength. And, and I, after, I need to speak to you about some wrong that I've done. What? What is it? In a bit, bro. Um, after we speak to him. Bro, are you okay? Yeah, I will be, inshallah. Um, come, let's go. It's getting late. Your forgiveness makes me a beggar. Less than a beggar. I come here with nothing to offer except what I express to you now. I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. Forgive me.